So starting off, your new kittens on the way. Um, from when you pick the kitten up, what sort of things you need to do? If you just start this with just transporting the kitten, so you've picked it up, how are you going to transport that cat back home? Uh, well, you need to buy a cat carrier. Um, there's all different types. Um, I would suggest you get, um, you can get a plastic one with a metal insert at the front for the opening and closing. Um, there's all different kinds, but that's the best one. It's secure. You can get uh, cardboard ones, but there's always the chance that they could chew, chew out yeah. and you don't want to lose them on the way home. So you did get some advice from your, your local pet store or vet or whatever in the best way of transporting them. And you're going to need a cat crate for a cat anyway, taking it to the vets and things like that yes. anyway, aren't you? So once you get the little kitten home, then imagine that you know, the kids and the family are going to play with it all the time, but what sort of considerations do you need to do within the home? Yes, well, you do need to make sure that um, when you take your kitten home, um, you've got to remember that you're taking... Uh, it to a strange place, away from its litter mates, away from its mother and where it's grown up, they may be scared. Ideally, you'd have a nice quiet room where you'd have your kitten's litter tray um, and then separate its water and its food. Ideally, lead the kitten to settle and explore its new surroundings. Even though family members might be eager um, you just need to let the kitten be quiet and just get used to its new home. Is there anything you need to do to kitten-proof your home at all? Avoiding any dangers, because there must be lots of dangers around the home. You need to make sure that any wires and cables are protected so uh, the kitten can't chew them. Also make sure uh, chimneys, they couldn't get up a chimney because they'll, they will explore, but they also, if they're frightened, they will try to go somewhere uh, quiet and uh, hide. Uh, chimneys are definitely, we have to make sure that our chimney's blocked up so we don't lose anything up the chimney. So also making sure doors are closed, making sure everyone knows that when they're coming in through the front door, well, where is the kitten? Because you want to yes. make sure it stays in the yes. house. Yes, you don't want the kitten darting out the front door or getting out of a window. Um, so, yes, everybody's got to be aware that um, you've got a, a new kitten in the house and to be careful. And also to make sure that you can let the kitten explore, but supervise uh, and always place the kitten back in the room where the litter tray is because they're still only babies. And the last thing the kitten wants to do is have an accident. So you can let them explore and have a play with them but then put them back um, where the litter tray and the bed is um, and also let them get plenty of rest because they still are babies. What about the first night? Are there going to be any concerns there? Obviously it's the first time away from the rest of the, the kittens. Yeah, I mean, they may cry um, because they're away from what they've known and their litter mates, um, but they just need to settle. Um, and be quiet basically, no, not too much hustle and bustle um, and just let them get used to their new surroundings. When you're cat proofing your home, um, obviously at some point with some people let the cat out and sometimes it's not always practical to do that but um, if you are letting the cat out on cat flaps, what sort of considerations would you have with the cat flap itself for safety and also letting the cat out for the first time because you want the cat to come back and know where its home is, so is there any sort of time constraints with that as well? Ideally, once the kitten is um, settled in its new home, would leave it for a few weeks till you were going to let it out, if you were going to let your cat out. And then um, a cat flap is a good idea so they can come and go as they like. But ideally, keeping an eye on your uh, kitten or cat when you let it out for the first few times so you um, know that it's not just going to go running off and not be able to find its way home. So uh, basically supervising them the first few times you let your cat out. And then you really need to look at the safety within the garden as well, making sure the cat's not going to get to you know, maybe garden chemicals or something like this or spraying as well. Uh, yes, um, make sure you're, 
for your garden is uh, as safe as possible, especially if you're going to let, um, say, your pedigree Bengal in the garden, then you want it to be in, enclosed, hopefully, making sure that any chemicals are locked away and there's nothing the cat could uh, eat, such as any poisonous plants.